Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today. It will be a super helpful video guys to any of you that have a BMW 3 Series between year 2005 to year 2013. This should cover generation E90, E91, 92, 93 guys. And if you're trying to remove or replace your horn, okay, and you have actually two of them, still this will show you where they're located, how to access them, how to remove them, how to replace them guys. Uh, now, before we start, let me introduce you to the channel. Every single car we get at the shop, we make at least 200 free repair videos. Specifically on this BMW 3 Series, we'll have probably close to 400 or 500 videos. Why, guys? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information. Uh, if you need to buy replacement parts, tools, or you want to see how to test the horn, we have the video on the channel, so please check it out. Let's go ahead and start on the horn removal now. So, as you can see guys, we have the phone bumper removed on that BMW 3 Series, but for actually replacing the horn guys, we have two of them. You do not need to remove the phone bumper, even though it will make life way easier. And if you want to see the video, we have it on the channel, but we will explain what else you can do. You actually have two horns, okay, one is right here, okay, check it out, one is over there. Let me remove that um, bracket right here. This is the horn and uh, this is the one on the driver's side and then you have another one on the passenger side at the same location. Now, how you can access it? Okay, the one on the passenger side, okay, it's right here. Now, you can remove only that front piece of the uh, fender liner, that front piece. And it's um, not very complicated at all. You will have uh, one screw that you need to remove here. Uh, you will have to remove one screw on this side, okay, over there. And uh, you have uh, three more screws. Okay, let me show you the piece. We have it removed on this side. Okay, you have three more screws. Okay, holding in place now. And uh, I'm talking about one here, here, and one on top. And uh, you have to remove those screws that attach to the bumper, the one that holds the air duct, and that piece will come out. Okay, and you will be able to access it through the tire, okay, and you will be able to access your horn. Now, uh, if you want to do the whole bumper removal, you can do that as well, but it's not recommended, guys. You can do it through the fender liner, but without us removing the bumper, I cannot show you anything because I won't be able to get even, okay, the headlight in place. So, uh, what do we need to get now? 10 millimeter, guys. 10 millimeter socket, and we're going to go ahead and remove now that nut in the middle and hold the horn have your car battery disconnected when you work on the electrical system now we have to do press in and disconnect the wiring harness and you can see guys this is the horn and it came out of there that's how we did the passenger side driver side is exactly the same we have a video actually how to test the horn as well on the channel which is not very complicated hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time